So I got asked, is touring even fun? Pretty dramatic question. I think what my friend meant by that was, do you even get to explore the cities that you're in while you're, while you're touring? Traveling for a living sounds extremely appealing. Just going to all these cool places, seeing everything. You have this idea that you're just gonna get to see all these cool cities and eat all the best food and get to meet all these cool people. The reality is pretty different. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that you are spending hours a day in the van. A lot of people have different ways they like to travel. But for me, I like to go to a city and just spend time there doing nothing. Chilling at a cafe, at a bar, whatever, outside all day. On tour, you just don't have time like that. If it's a show day, which are most days on tour, a lot of times you might have two free hours that you're not in the van. That being said, the other day we were in Belgium and our hotel was right between the venue in Bruges and there were about 20 minute train rides in each direction. I've never seen Bruges and I've always wanted to. So here's, here's that. So we're somewhere outside of Bruges. So I wanna go check out the city. Our venue is completely in the opposite direction, but I think with the Metro it'll be about 20 minutes. The other guys, they were lazy. They wanted to stay in the hotel, but I watched in Bruges and it's a good movie. So I wanna go check the, I wanna go check the city out. Didn't pay for the train ticket, I just kind of got on. Which is something you can do in Europe. You can just get on the train, not pay, and sometimes they'll ask you for the ticket, and then you just go, oh, I didn't know, because I'm not from here, I'm stupid. Oh yeah, and then the drummer, the drummer of Mickey Rickshaw, Crisco, he had a special request that I find Belgian Waffle Man. I don't know what he meant by that, but he just said, dude, find Belgian Waffle Man. So this, so this happened. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm sorry, are you Belgian Waffle Man? Yeah. <laughs> I was heard there's a Belgian Waffle Man. Uh, we, are, we are one of the most famous waffle shops, but I, I don't know if I'm the Waffle Man. Okay, <laughs> I was told to look for Belgian Waffle Man. I don't know. I don't know. We, we are who the, the Waffle Man is, but we, we have fresh made Belgian waffles. That, okay, well, I'm going to get my friend and I'm going to come back for Belgian Waffle Man. Sure, thank you. Thank Bye. you. I think for now, as far as anyone's concerned. I'm Belgian Waffle Man. So there you go, I found Belgian Waffle Man. I ate Belgian waffles, but other than that, you know, I really just had an hour and a half to walk around the city before I had to get back on the train and then head to the venue, which was in a different, smaller city. Gabe, make me proud. Yeah. However, days off are a little bit different. If the tour's been crazy, sometimes a day off, you just want to do nothing. You don't want to go explore, you don't want to go see the museum and then do this and do that. No, you just want to rest and do absolutely nothing. And that's what yesterday was for us. We had to get from Leopoldsburg, Belgium, all the way to Vienna, Austria. So we decided to stop in Nuremberg for the night. And that was cool because we got to get out and explore a little bit. But still, even then, even without a show, it was just all day in the van going out in the evening a little bit to see the town, which is really cool. Nuremberg's a pretty interesting place. We went to the, um, the famous balcony that Hitler gave his speeches from. It's really a weird feeling standing up there, just knowing, just knowing what that was surrounded by. So we got to Vienna last night, went to the pub. All right, the Guinness game. Get this line to here in one sip by guessing. Did you? Fuck, too much. Adam wins the free beer. Oh. Hey. Today's the second day off, which means we're arrested, so we're out doing stuff, we're running around the city. Now, of course, today's very different, because we got the full day off. We don't have a show tonight. We didn't have a show yesterday. So the boys didn't want to stay in the hotel. They decided to come out for a little sightseeing. And this is proof, he's right here. He's right here, he's seeing the sights. <laughs> How many cities would you say you've been to but haven't seen the city? The majority. <laughs> like 80% of them. There's just not enough time. You pretty much arrive the, the evening of the show. 
straight to the venue or hotel, or then quickly after, play the gig in the next one and leave. That's pretty much it. Yeah. This is Lego Cathedral. The whole roof is made of Legos, apparently. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think so. It's the third time that I play here. Probably is the first time. Well, while I'm playing, I, ex I can explore the city. Usually not. What about show days? Do you have time to get around? No, not at all. Work so hard, doing loading, doing sound check. Not time for uh, the rest. Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. Martha. <laughs> 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 grazie per la torta, Marta. Grazie, grazie per la torta. <laughs> hey everyone. How is touring different from just normal traveling? The first thing I think that is a, a fact of responsibility. Like when you're touring, like you're working actually. That's the first thing that is different from travel. It's not like a, okay, I saved some money and I gonna there for some relaxed time or whatever. When you travel, you, you choose the place you, you want to travel. Most of the places are all like common touristic places, big cities or big capitals or whatever. When you're touring, it is what it is. So you can be in a big city or in a little village. Like Leopoldsburg. Yeah, exactly, like Leopoldsburg. That's, to me, is the, the beauty of touring because nobody saved money and to, to catch a flight to go to Leopoldsburg, yeah. you know? But Leopoldsburg was a very nice village. Like what cities have you played but you didn't, haven't had a chance to like go out and explore? I mean, there's a bunch that I've been actually several times, but I haven't had the time to explore them yet. But again, another thing, probably you don't have time to explore the touristic stuff. You have time and you need to, you have to explore other side of those cities or whatever. They probably are more local. Yeah, like gas than, stations. Like gas station, <laughs> for, for, first of all. Like we, we know all the service stations in Europe. Another thing that I can say is to me personally, when I'm touring, I feel treated by the locals more as a local than, a to than as a tourist. Because, I mean, there's always time to explore and to see little things and to make memories or whatever, but that's up to you. Yeah. And you cannot like count on days off because days off, as you can see all the radiators in this apartment, like you have to keep your life together, you know, do your, um, uh, do your washing, do your laundry, or shave your head, or fix your hair, or whatever. So you cannot really count on days off. Did you shave your head today? No, I will later. <laughs> <laughs> but another thing, like you, you said it right, you, you walk in Rion, you walk from the apartment or the accommodation to the venue. And that's another thing that I love to do. Like I always love to walk from the accommodation to the venue yeah. to see something and to feel, you know, the vibe of the city and whatever. That, that's it. Tomorrow we're playing an awesome venue and I've only heard good things about it. The band draws pretty well there, but I think with COVID stuff is still restricted, but either way I'm excited for it. Let me know other questions you have about us on tour. I mean, as long as I have something to talk about, I'm going to keep posting these just because I, I need to learn how to make these. Um, so consider this all a learning process, but um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me know what kind of stuff you're interested in because I want to keep making videos because why not?